This is Michael from Blue Sky Bio, and in this tutorial, I will go through the orthodontics aligner process flow, emphasizing and focusing on new functionality that we're releasing as part of Blue Sky Plan version 413. When clicking on orthodontics and choosing aligners, we could see that there are two options for two different process flows. There's the option to import models, which we could call the traditional way of planning a digital liner case for liner fabrication, and then we have the import patient CT scan option. While you could definitely use Blue Sky Plan for those optical scan only cases and go through the traditional flow, in this tutorial, we're going to be emphasizing and focusing on the process flow that includes the patient CT scan as well as the optical scans. The process flow that includes the patient CT scan really unleashes a whole new realm of possibility and accuracy, reducing significantly mid-course refining cases. When using a patient CT scan in addition to the optical scans combined with the power of version 413 or newer of the Blue Sky Plan software, you're unleashing true anatomical mechanics. I will demonstrate how the software will completely automatically segment the teeth and the jaws, align it with the optical scans, and allow the planning to be done with true anatomical mechanics, removing the guesswork that is built into the optical scan only cases without the root information and without intelligent widget placement. You can see more information regarding this at prontoliners.com. And if you are outsourcing your liner manufacturing, you can order aligners at fantastic prices. Now we're going to jump into the process flow by clicking on import patient CT scan. The software is now prompting us to select the relevant CT scan. So navigate to the location on your computer where the patient CT scan is saved. You could use the shortcut buttons going across the top for quick navigation. You're able to load zipped, unzipped, compressed, uncompressed DICOMs into the software. Simply select the relevant folder or one of the slices and click OK. Select the relevant series and then click OK. Now we're going to identify the relevant field of view. You could simply grab with your left mouse button and drag any of the yellow borders to define the relevant field of view. We now have completely automatic airway segmentation in Blue Sky Plan as well. So if you would like to keep the airway included for segmentation, then keep that in mind when selecting the relevant field of view and then click OK. The software is now prompting us to select the relevant optical scans. You can left click to select the relevant scan, hold down the shift key to multi-select or the control key to multi-select. And while you're holding shift or control, left click on the additional file. Once the relevant files are selected, go ahead and click on okay. The software presents a model on screen, select the relevant jaw type and click okay. The software is now running through some automated processes. We could see it is now running airway segmentation. In order to save time during this video, I will pause the recording when the processing might take a few minutes. The completely automatic segmentations, such as airways, such as teeth, such as bone, do take one or more minutes to run. But what's fantastic about the automated processes is that they run directly on your computer. There's no need to upload or send them anywhere. The results will be presented directly in the software directly as part of your process flow, so there's no need to run alignments or imports or exports. And currently, the automated segmentation functionality is all being offered at no charge. The software is now proceeding with its CT teeth segmentation. We have designed the process flows that all the automatic detection happens sequentially automatically. So you collect the software run, go grab a cup of coffee, see a patient, and then come back and the processing will be done. I will also show you where you could set your preferences in terms of which automated processes should run when you load a new patient and a CT scan. Do you want the airway segmentation running with every case? Yes or no. Do you want the bone segmentation running with every case? Yes or no. So you'll be able to set your preferences based on your clinical applications, based on the power of your particular computer and whatever other considerations you may have. You can see the software has now moved on to running the bone segmentation. Okay, the software has now taken us to this point where we're confirming the alignment between the optical scan 
and the CT scan. So just to reiterate, besides selecting the relevant data sets, the software has run through the segmentation processes automatically. We'll see the results in just a minute. And now it's asking us to confirm the alignment of the optical scan, which we could see here in white in the 3D view, and we could see the outline of the optical scan in the CT scan view. And we want to confirm that the outline of the optical scan al aligns to the CT scan. And in the 3D view, we have the 3D model of the optical scan aligning to the CT scan as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. We do have the option that if for whatever reason alignment does not work completely automatically, that you can use points by identifying points on each scan and then doing the alignment. But the alignment should be working almost in every case automatically. And if it doesn't, then please do send us the case as well so that we could continue to improve. Anyway, I'm going to click on OK to confirm alignment and continue. We can now see the alignment for the mandible as well both in the 2D view and in the 3D view. Able to grab and drag and rotate with your left mouse button, zoom in and out with your right mouse button. And I'm going to click on OK to confirm the alignment and continue. Before we continue with the process flow, I'm going to show you, as I mentioned earlier, how you're able to control exactly which automatic segmentation should happen by default for your cases. So what I did is I went into Tools and I chose Preferences, Tools from the menu here, and I chose Preferences chose orthodontics, and here we have the options of what should run automatically and what should not. So CT teeth segmentation is always enabled. That's always enabled when you select the option of importing a patient CT scan, because that is exactly why you're importing the patient CT scan, at least to have the CT teeth segmented. That's enabled by default. The options for jawbone segmentation, you could choose if you wanted to run by default in every case as well. And you could choose regarding airway segmentation if you like it to run by default in every case as well. If you like an automated process to run and you see that it is not running or vice versa, where it is running, but you don't feel it's necessary for every case, then you like to go into orthodontics and change the options that you have right here. I'm going to click cancel. At this step, there are two important things that we want to be doing. Number one is we want to enter a unique patient identifier. Unique patient identifier that you enter here will be the default suggested options when you're saving the case, when sending the case for aligner manufacturing, when you're sending the case to Blue Sky Monitoring, it's just gonna be the default suggested name for everything connected to this patient and this patient case. What we also have here is the option to add a tooth. So in our situation, we don't need to add a tooth. All the relevant teeth are here. I'll just demonstrate and I'll click add tooth and I'll show that we've introduced a new option in Blue Sky Plan Now to automatically create an AI tooth for your particular case. If you were adding a tooth here, you're simply gonna select the relevant tooth, you'll click the OK button, and then you'll click the relevant spot in the model, and you'll have a tooth generated based on your particular data set and your particular optical scans, and the tooth will be added to your model. So when relevant, use the Add Tooth option to add a missing tooth. And now I'm going to click Continue to Draw Alignment, the software is now automatically going to annotate and then it will segment the teeth. We can see that the software has now identified and annotated the teeth automatically. We could review the annotation. If we need to fine tune the placement of any of the nodes, simply grab and drag. If for whatever reason we want to annotate completely manually, we have the options here to clear all teeth and then you could hold down the shift key and left click going around the arch to place the dots. Otherwise, if everything looks okay, simply confirm and click continue with mandible. We can now review the annotation and identification of the teeth for the mandible. After confirming that everything is correct and okay, simply click continue to teeth segmentation. The software has now automatically segmented the teeth we could review the segmentation. If we need to make any modifications to the segmentation, simply left click on the relevant tooth. You could grab and drag any of the nodes. You could right click on a node and you have different options to link and unlink nodes that are, that are between teeth. You can also simply redraw the curve by holding down the shift key and using your left mouse button and grabbing and dragging. I'm gonna undo that. Once we've confirmed segmentation, simply click continue with mandible. We can once again review the segmentation 
and I'd like to point out a new functionality that we have added to extract a tooth. If you like to extract a tooth, simply left click on the tooth so that it's active and has a red margin curve and you could simply click extract tooth. We also have an option for radial deformation. You could use the slider to select the relevant depth that you like. And once again, once the tooth is active, simply click extract tooth. Okay, we could see the tooth has been extracted and removed accordingly. I'm going to undo that option and we are now ready to proceed with model cleanup. Okay, so now I'm gonna click continue to model trimming. The software now automatically places a model trim curve on the model. We could review the placement of the trim curve, modify accordingly just by grabbing and dragging any of the nodes if needed. Essentially, everything outside of the curve, all this area here is going to be cut away. Any area within the curve is going to stay and be part of the model. So we're going to review the curve. If for whatever reason we don't want to trim, just click the box don't trim axilla or don't trim mandible. If you make changes to the curve and you want to reset the curve to the automatic position, just click reset trimming curve. But once the curve has been confirmed, just click continue with mandible. Now we have the mandibular jaw. The curve is placed automatically. You don't really need to worry if the curve runs off the heels of the model. That's fine. It'll just be cut away up until that point. Once you've confirmed the curve, click continue to teeth moving. We do have different settings in the options part of the software where you could essentially adjust the height of the model base that's going to be added as we see on screen now was just created. So for whatever reason you feel the base is too high or too short, you should know the options exist where you could customize that in the ortho options in the software. Okay, so now we could see that we're at the step in the process where everything has been loaded, the data has been loaded, merged, segmented, cleaned up, the models have been cleaned up, and now we're really at the point of starting the liner digital plan. All the steps until now don't really require any clinical knowledge. It could be done by someone else in the office, by an assistant, by an office manager to load the data to get it ready for a liner tooth setup. In follow-up videos, we will discuss the functionality to prepare a digital tooth setup to control the tooth movement, including milestones, adding buttons, additional advanced functionality, include designing and exporting the actual aligners, the ability to create an aligner trim curve for the milling machine, and then exporting steps, including the ability to add a base for vertical printing, emboss and grave onto the models or onto the aligners, ordering the actual aligners with a click, and sending the case for remote monitoring.